again exactly why we're at school on a Saturday? Are you kidding me? It's club day. It's the only day of the week when I get to hang out with people I really like. What? Uh, gotta go. Okay, see you all back here at five. But wait, I don't have a club to go to. Well, Mom, looks like it's your lucky day. I'm coming with you to your anger management club. Oh, that's sweet, Gumball. But behind this door, I'm a very different person. Trust me, you don't want to see this. Hello, Nicole. Welcome back. Ah! Ah! Could you guys keep it down a little? You keep it down! Hey, Anais, what club are you in? Physics club. Well, today's your lucky day because I'm Let me not... stop you right there. You know there are different types of intelligence? Yeah. I don't think you have any of them. I don't get it. Exactly. Oh, come on! Oh, let me in! Oh, don't be a club hog! Oh, fine. Dad, can I join your fantasy club? Ooh, be there! It's me, Gumball. Be you orc? No. Be you dwarf? No, I'm your son. Be you better or savor a snacks for the elders? What? No. Then be gone! <sighs> What's up? Man, there's gotta be a club for me somewhere. You could always join my club. What is it? Synchronized swimming! Hmm, you're good, but I can do better. Here comes the swan dive of eternal beauty! How graceful was that? Dude, you can't swim. <coughs> Fair point. Uh, has anyone seen my trunks? Yeah! Touchdown! Oh, roar! Slam dunk! Yeah! Uh, hey guys, is this the football club? Yeah! Well, uh, did I miss the game? No, it's going on right out there. Why aren't you playing? Because we're, we're the, the reserve team. team! Cool. So, can I join? I don't know. Are you man enough? <laughs> Me? I'm at least 50% man. Well, in that case, here's your towel. Thanks. So, do you guys ever get to play? Nah, we just hang out here and act kind of sporty. You guys just take showers, hang around in towels, and high-five each other? <laughs> There's a little bit more to it than that. Is the game over? Yeah, we lost. Uh oh. What? Ah! 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 <sighs> oh, why doesn't anyone want me in their club? It can't have anything to do with me, my talent, my intelligence, or my general awesomeness. You know what? Too bad for you jealous people, because I'm starting my own club and you are not invited. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to Gumball's Club of Gumball. First order of business, attendance. Hmm, pretty good. Now, it seems like recently we've been let down by certain family members. So I propose a little exercise in trust. Okay, don't worry, Gumball. Just close your eyes, let yourself fall back, and someone will catch you. Oh, I'm a bit scared, Gumball. Well, that's why it's called a trust exercise. Come on, dude. Mm, okay. <gasps> help! We can't get out! Please help! We're locked in! Please let us out! <sighs> it's no use, Darwin. We're gonna be stuck in here forever. The last time I come in here to whistle for you. But if you don't whistle, I can't go. <sighs> I never thought it would end like this. Stuck in a bathroom forever. At least we've had some pretty good times. And some crummy ones, too. Look, Darwin, if we don't get out of here, there's something I need to tell you. <gasps> Remember that time they found a creepy picture in your school book and you said you didn't do it? Well, that was me. What? I had to go to counseling for that. I've lost my whole summer. I'm sorry, dude. Mr. Small put me in a isolation tank. Well, let's not dwell on the past. <gasps> Gumball, there's something I haven't told you too, and it's probably gonna shock you. What, is it really bad or something? 
It's pretty bad. Yeah. Last week. Oh, man. I'm so glad it's you. I thought this place was haunted by a couple of screaming girls. We're, We're saved. saved! How long have we been here? How about three minutes? Oh, uh, wait, what were you gonna say back there, by the way? Huh? You were gonna say something, remember? Oh, don't worry about that now. We're free. I love this game. It's so much fun. Yep. Hey, you know what else was fun? When we were stuck in the bathroom and you were gonna tell me that secret. Yeah, that was fun. Just out of curiosity, what was that little secret? It's better you don't know. Sure, but I told you mine, therefore I think it's better you tell me yours. Nah, let's just play instead. Yeah, let's just play. Look at him standing there, knowing his secret. I'll get it out of him, it's the last thing I do. Wow, you're pretty good at this. There you go, old pal. What's the occasion? Can't the guy just make a meal for his best buddy? This hasn't got anything to do with the secret, has it? Secret? No. What secret? Hmm. You're giving me this food, so I'll tell you the secret, aren't you? Am I? Aren't you? <sighs> Did you do something to this food? I don't know. Did I? Sorry, excuse me? <laughs> Tap's a little tight, eh? <laughs> Looks like we're all out of drinks. Oh, wait, what's this? You want it? What's the secret? Oh, well. Seven months for this. I know. We waited so long, I had time to grow hair. Huh? Whoa. May I touch it? You may. Nice. Thanks. Come on, put the game on! Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there you are. Oh, there's something wrong with it. Try the other way around! Uh, uh. Come on! Can't you see I'm practically flipping my clipper? What is that supposed to mean? It means put the game on! I can't! It's not working! I think we got stiffed. I'm sorry, kids, but it's store policy. I can't give you a refund. What? You have to! We asked you a ton of questions before we bought it, remember? What's bigger, a lion or a tiger? A tiger. Why is the sky blue? Diffraction of light, two nitrogen. Can anything escape from a black hole? Not unless it's a superheated quasar. What is 2,352 times 1,035? 2,434,320. If you know all this stuff, how come you're a store clerk? Look, you want this game or not? We'll take it. Actually, you never asked me anything about the game. Oh, you're right. But whatever, you have to give us a refund. It's been less than 24 hours. Look, guys, if it was up to me, I'd totally give you a refund. But the manager won't allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Thank you for shopping at Ripley 2000. This is not the end of it, Larry Needlemeyer. Mark my words, we will get a refund. Hi, Larry. Can we have a refund, please? Get out of here. Ripley 2000. More like Rip Off 2000! Why is it 2000 anyway? It's not like it's the future anymore. 
Hi. Yes, Mr. Manager. I, uh, no, sir. I certainly didn't give a refund to those kids. Yes, I brought your suit to the dry cleaners and walked your dogs. Actually, the big one bit me. Oh, yes, he, he can be playful. This is why I was seven minutes late. Oh, yes, Mr. Manager, sir. It was entirely my fault. It won't happen again, sir. Have a nice day. Oh. This is the police! Ah. You're surrounded! Put your hands where I can see them! Uh, uh, now put your hands on the cash register and take out $20! Now go outside and swap it for this computer game! Hey, what kind of police are you? The... Super Real Police! The... Uh, refund Department! Of... Justice! Nice try, kids. Darn! Uh, look, kids, I'm not gonna give you a refund. We're not here to ask for a refund. We just want you to look at my new shiny watch. Uh, it's kind of hard when you swing it like that. Did it work? Is he hypnotized? Let's test it. Okay, you're the world's most amazing dancer. <laughs> No, a gorilla! A gorilla <laughs> ostrich! <laughs> now you have roller skates on! <laughs> and your butt's on fire! <laughs> and now you're a store clerk giving us a refund? Sorry, it's against store policy. <sighs> now your butt's on fire again. Oh, come on. I told you, no refund. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to ask you for a refund. We just want two minutes of your time. Every year, hundreds of children buy faulty computer games and don't get refunds. This is Jimmy. And if you really didn't know that, then maybe you should read a book. I don't know, dude. This book says he's right. Apparently, nachos aren't fruit. What the what? You mean we've been in a flame war for seven hours and we can't even win? <sighs> did he make any spelling mistakes? No, but he did say who instead of whom. Call it. I think you'll find it's whom. <laughs> whap, whap! Cyber psych! Quick, block it before he can respond! <laughs> I love Elmore Plus. It's like real life, but with none of the consequences. Yeah, you get to see what everyone does and how happy they are and how much better their lives are compared to ours. Let's write more sarcastic comments. Just got my roots done, what do you think? I think you should realize this is a public forum and put your pop back on. <laughs> Upset because of a certain someone. They know who they are. Stop posting mysterious status updates and we have no idea who you're talking about. <sighs> I don't get this. There's always people who give the thumb up to everything, like Tobias is getting his appendix out today. Prob gonna have a scar. Thumbs up from Alan. What is he liking about that exactly? The fact it wasn't him who was in pain? Let me handle this. You have reached your thumb up limit. Please walk away from your computer, look at yourself in the mirror, and give yourself the thumb down. <sighs> let's just block him. In fact, let's block everyone that annoys us. Block, 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 Done. We got a message. Who from? I don't know. It's blocked. Dear Dumball and Darwin. What's with the voice? It says reading a deep, scary voice at the top. You have wronged me for the last time. By the end of today, I will have my revenge, and you will be sorry for the way you treated me. Signed, your sworn enemy. Sorry, typo. I meant enemy. <gasps> what did we do? And who sent that message? It could be anyone. It couldn't just be anyone. It has to be someone we've upset. Yeah, you're right. It could be anyone. <sighs> oh, I know. Let's apologize to everyone. Yes, that's the only way we can be sure. How could you forget what you've done to me? Hey guys, I just wanted to say that you seem really cool and, well, I think we should hang out. What do you say? Wow, that was awkward. Okay, so, um, we're gonna go now, but you, uh, you should stay here. Okay, bye. Your time will come. There must be something we've done to you that's worth an apology. Dink! Yes, come on, use your pointy brain. But Sassy's not angry. Sassy likes you. Sassy likes all the things in the world. Yeah, well, I gotta apologize for something, so I'll apologize for this. <laughs> oh my.
my gosh, I am so sorry. <laughs> but Sassy liked that too. Aww. Okay, next. <laughs> Darn right I'm angry at you. Tell us about it. Have you ever noticed that nothing in this world is set up as it should be? Like what? I should be more important. I should be the one with the sidekick and exciting adventures. I'm more handsome, richer, and more colorful than you guys, and yet, it's like I'm the supporting character of my own life. <sighs> Come on. I'm not hugging you, we're both in towels. Come on. No, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Come on, just give me a hug! You leave us no choice. Accept our apology! Accept it! Forgive us! Look how sorry we are! Give us a hug! Okay! <gasps> Jeez! Right! That's one less angry friend to deal with! You need to have strong foundations, ideally with a man cave. You also need space. Two stories with a screening room for movie night should do, right? Yeah! And how about a hot tub for the winter? And a swimming pool for summer? Yeah! Great! Sign this, please. Now, let me talk you through the process. We start with you as you are right now, with a problem, then we exchange, then you leave happily. Does that sound good? Yeah, I think so. Great, so let's exchange. Well, it seems we've run out of things to say but, 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 I meant to exchange my services for your money. Oh, sorry. Yes, of course. Very good. So, yeah, this never used to happen to us, but now it's like... And now, goodbye. Well, wait, what about all that building a house stuff? Oh, we're building all right. My pool house! Bye! Okay, what if we try something a little more off the charts? No, please, not him. Look, science let us down. We might as well give him a chance. Please, don't say it. No. Please, no! Did someone say alternative medicine? <sighs> so, you're saying you have no wind in your sails? Yes. The train won't leave the station? Yes. The goose is stuck in the hammock? Yes. The potato is wedged in your tailpipe? I'm not sure what we're talking about anymore. You've got trouble talking. Yes. Hmm, I see. I think we need to release the holisticness of your third eye chakras in order to boost your aura and stimulate the flow of chi to your tongue. What does that mean? It means this. How do you feel? Like I got punctured 200 times and set on fire. I meant between the two of you. <gasps> I, 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 uh, no, still have nothing to say to him. Me neither. Wait, wait, I, I can feel something coming. Yeah, me too. It's like my tongue is tingling. That's really weird. I've done this procedure three times before and all my other patients had exactly the same result. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> but don't panic. Their lives went back to normal very quickly. <sighs> Once they accepted that this was their life now. You know, Darwin, as that Backstreet doctor was violently draining the excess fluid out of our screaming faces using that grease-coated bicycle pump, I had an eye-opening moment. Tell me about it. My eyes are still popping out in shock. No, I mean that man had no diploma. He was just pretending to be a doctor. So? So what if we pretended too? I don't get it. Well, you know how we can't keep up a conversation? Yeah, it goes limper than an animator's handshake. <laughs> exactly. But what if it wasn't us doing the talking? What do you mean? Role-playing. If it works for fedora wizards in some basement, why not us? Who are you gonna be then? I'm Akane Ryuku, a shy anime kawaii girl who likes corgis and friendship. Okay, let's go. Hey. Oh, hey, hey. I'm Akane-chan. I'm not used to talk to people. <laughs> Asterisk blushes and turns away. Congratulations! You've won E-Phone Black Edition! Sugoi! Thank you, Sleeve McDyckel, senpai. It's the first time someone makes Akane-chan a present. Asterisk looks away all flustered. You want to be friends with Akane? What? Question mark. Equals my message not going through? Chat with me now and win dollars, dollars, dollars! What? Click link and talk. Mm. Dude, what the what were you role-playing? A bot! So even Akane's conversation wasn't real? Asterisk bash his head on wall in anguish. Asterisk can realize it hurts a lot more in real life than in writing.
To see where he hides all his nuts. Okay. And it worked a little too well. Okay, don't move. <laughs> okay, I've got to run now. Why? To compete. Why? Because I have to fight. Why? Because I have to be the best. Why? So people will like me? But lots of people already like you. Really? Like who? <gasps> it's two o'clock already. I'm too late. <gasps> I've got to go home empty-handed. Not quite empty-handed. You have a nut. Huh? Half a nut. <laughs> What would you do if you were me? If I had done everything you've done, sleep till I'm 40. <laughs> I mean, what should I do with my life? Hmm. Maybe start living it? Actually, you know what? I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> They'll fight! Oh no, little man. This is a food war! <laughs> Please don't tell. Uh, he attached $20 to the note. How cheap does he think we are? remember what he doesn't want us to talk about. If money isn't enough to stop you revealing, I don't have a diploma. I've <laughs> dug a little dirt of my own. What if this were to go public? <sighs> Look, Principal Brown, first, that was a phase. And secondly, we felt ashamed so many times in life that I think we're now incapable of feeling it. As in, chemically. The doctor says we've run out of shameosterone. Let me show you. As you can see, the brain is composed of many sections dedicated to emotion. Here is anger. Here is sadness. This here? We just don't know. And finally, this is the shame gland. As you can see, it's pretty dried out. Dude, could you put me back together, please? Sure. Huh. 
How's that? Jeg tror, der er et eller andet, der er sat helt forkert sammen. Ah, thanks. That's much better. Gumbel and Darwin Watson, please report to the principal's office. Ah, uh, what does he want now? Kids, I think I'm losing my mind. Ah, uh, finally! Well, at least you realize it's a problem. I looked everywhere. I looked in the drawer, I looked under my desk, behind the bookshelf. Wait, what are we talking about here? My glasses! I can't find my glasses. Uh, you're wearing them? Oh, no, not these. My spare pair. I think they might be in the safe. You keep your spare glasses in a safe? I can't see them! Oh, no, 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 they're right at the back. Just keep going further in. You're gonna lock us in the safe, aren't you? Uh, would you believe a no? Look, Principal Brown, this is ridiculous. If you keep wasting your time on us instead of doing your job, this place is gonna start falling apart. Oh, sorry. <sighs> okay, you really want to do something for us? Anything. Then you'll leave us alone? Of course. Then just take care of the school. Yes, he says, of course, that's it. Take care of the school and all my problems will be solved. Thank you, Watterson. All I have to do is blow this place up. Exactly. All I could find was these. Oh, well, that would explain the sound box. Wait, did he say blow up the school? We need to raise the alarm. Are you crazy? No one can know about this. There'll be complete panic. We just have to stop him before he blows up the school. Who's gonna blow up the school? <laughs> no, no, we were just saying how the wind blows up the guy. Help me out here. But what did you do that for? He said no one could know. And he winked at me. Yeah, but I was... I, I, never mind, let's go. Rock, can I have the keys to the boiler room? I'm gonna blow up the school. Uh, sure. Uh, you'd better run. All right, it's the little blue one. Sometimes it sticks, so you might need to give it a principal. Rock's gonna blow up the school. No, 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 no. Somebody met. It's, it's not you. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you trying to knock me on? If there's no school, then there's nothing to lose. Excuse me, Principal Brown, I... Take the children outside, Coach. I'm gonna blow up the school. <laughs> Wait, blow up what? Yeah, okay, no violence. I'll take care of her. I'm sorry, Coach. What's that? I'm trying to pinch a nerve cluster, but it's buried pretty deep. Now let me try something. Apparently it works on cows. <laughs> I've got to blow this place up! Principal Brown is gonna blow up the school! Mr. Small, we can explain! Hold on, kids. I need to make a symbolic gesture of protest. Halt in the name of love. Oh. 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 Once this place is gone, my reputation will be safe. Save yourself, Lucy! Oh, oh sorry. I thought that was another drywall. Why is everyone so uncool on the school bus? Is it really that bad to move so we can sit together? That's animal instinct, man. Everyone's protecting their territory. Oh, come on. People aren't animals, dude. Hey, Tobias, do you mind moving so we can <laughs> Hey, Gary! 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 I could do this forever. I don't have bones. Mm, you can have my seat. Here's a lesson to you selfish seat hogs. Never judge a book by its cover. No matter how weird and bald and a bit scary it might be. Thank you, sussy. You're a gentleman and a lady. Oh, oh what is that? The leather makes sussy sweaty. Well, on second thoughts, what kind of gentleman could rob such a fine lady of her seat? Please, take it back. I insist. Ooh, ooh, uh, flush, flush. I've got such a craving for some anchovies and peanut butter. Oh, uh, <clears throat> hurry up, please. I'm sitting for two. Oh, they grow up so fast. Hey, hey, Banana Joe, how you doing, buddy? Do you mind moving up the seat so we can? I move for anyone except you two backstabbing dweeb muffins. <laughs> Why are you so angry, buddy? Is it because we didn't defend you when Tobias said your mom is so overripe she's got fruit flies? Is it because we left you at that gas station on the way to Daisyland on your birthday? Because we were almost there, we decided to just pick you up on the way home? Is it because we forgot about you on that camping trip and you had to sleep under a tent of your own skin and eat a bit of yourself to survive? And you waited for three days in the woods but then decided to walk home and got lost? And winter came and you tried to light that fire with the lighter fluid we said you left you, but it wasn't lighter fluid, it was shampoo. And you got frostbite and that's kinda why you have no feet. 
I swear to you, my banana friend, by the end of the weekend, we shall discover the source of your anger and appease your wrath. Ah, uh, no, dude, we shall not. It's our special weekend. And nothing's gonna ruin it! Don't worry, we'll work it out. Uh, no peanut butter. The more time spreading the stuff, the less time playing the game. <laughs> I can't believe you'd go and get tangled up in some menial banana problems and forget about our weekend. I like Banana Joe, he's like my favorite fruit, but I'm not gonna ruin the gaming weekend of the century for a weekday friend. Do you remember how excited we were about this game? Dude, there's a new Zelmore coming out. When it comes out, you and me, buddy, we're gonna buy this game and play it till we're purple. Let's check if there's any more info. There's nothing. Hit refresh. Still nothing. Hit it again. Still nothing. Hit it again. Still nothing. Hit it again. I know, but what about Joe? He was so angry, he looked like he was gonna get a nosebleed. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Cause all I heard was <laughs> and something about bailing on the best weekend ever! Yeah, you're right. I'm really sorry to have forgotten about your weekend. It's definitely more important than a friend who's hurt, possibly scarred forever because of something we, well, let's be honest, more likely you, have done. Ah, what is that? That's the weight of the guilt. Give in to the nice side. Help the less fortunate and make the guilt go away, my friend. Oh, make it stop! <laughs> Surrender to your kindness, Gumball. It's nice to be nice. <laughs> I'm not breaking a window. No, I need you to knock me out. How about you just ask Sussy to come down a little? <laughs> I can't. What the? You're embarrassed, aren't you? Just use the hammer. <laughs> Darwin Watterson, the fish who grew legs at the expense of his gut. Shut up! Hey, Darwin! Which noise do you prefer? <laughs> or? <laughs> Excuse me, Sussy, but can you be a little bit quieter, please? Certainly, young Gumball, I'd be more than happy to oblige. Thank you. What was that? That was me taking my hat off to you. Hats. I still don't understand how you can be so direct with people. Oh, it's really hard. You have to think the words and then move your lips at the same time so it makes the right sound. Teach me. What? Uh, uh. Yeah, it's what I thought. argument I just won only went on in my head, didn't it? Well, nothing happened in reality, so I'm gonna have to say yes. What's that now? That's me beating myself for being such a doormat. If you want me to teach you how to be direct, I can. But you have to promise to do exactly as I say. No questions asked. I promise. I want you to walk like a dog with an itchy butt. I shouldn't have promised. Hi, guys. I think I actually understand the purpose of this exercise. You're ridding me of my inhibitions by destroying the little dignity I had. No, dude. <laughs> I was just messing with you. <laughs> what? Was it really <laughs> necessary to take me over the sandbox? I'm sorry. Uh, just tell me who you want to be direct with, and I'll show you how it's done. Calm down, honey. You're being overgrammatic. This guy's too shellfish, and he's being like a total control Greek. Do you mind? I was in the middle of a condensation. Wow, I see what you mean now. Come on, tell him how annoying he is. <sighs> okay. You know, Leslie, when you try to sound intelligent sometimes, you just... You just... Come on, man, speak your mind! You're so bottled up, you're choking on your own frustration! <laughs> Say what you think! When you try and sound smart and mix up your words, you sound like a fool. I 
don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I'll be forever grateful for your honesty. It, it's grateful. Oh, yes, I'll be forever grapefruit for your honesty. <laughs> what? Tobias just posted a photo. I'll send it over. Oh, for goodness sake! This is another thing that bugs me. He's always pulling that stupid pose. It's so annoying. Well, it's not really that annoying. It's just photos, buddy. It's not, though, is it? It's all the time. Dude, FYI, you look thunderlying when you pull that pose. What does it even mean? It's chunking the deuce, man. And what does that mean? Understand. For my whole walking life, I've had to keep my mouth shut, having to deal with everyone's annoying little habits. But now, I can say what I like. I feel like... Dude, what are you doing? I feel like... You should be happy to be young. Before you know it, you'll be overweight, unattractive, balding, middle-aged. Take over breakfast. I don't want you to see me like that. What's his problem? Eh, you never know with that guy. Come on, let's have breakfast. Man, what a pile of beans. <gasps> Dude, watch your language. You'll get us in trouble. Well, I'm sorry, Darwin, but it is. It's a big, steaming pile of beans. <gasps> Come on, look! A shooting star! This is our chance. Make a wish. I wish I was a grown-up. Me too. Nah, that didn't work at all. Ugh. Kids, what do y'all think you're doing? Today's lesson will be about the transformations of the human body. As you get older, hormones begin to change your appearance. Here. It's me as an adult talking to my secretary over the intercom. It's me voting. Awesome. Passing notes, are we? No, Miss Simeon. Well, what, what's this? Uh, that's us as adults? I guess you're on topic then. Anyway, pimples. Yeah. My aunt. Actually, it's pretty gross. You may continue. Ew. Pimples or acne can pop up at any time. Dude, what's that on your face? What? What? That. What? It looks like a greasy yellow egg. No, no. Actually, it's more like a small volcano with a sweaty golf ball. Do something. Do something. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me just. Uh... I think we're gonna need more little hats. Ah! Just relax, dude. That's easy for you to say. Why don't you have any? <laughs> Just lucky, I guess. Ah! 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 Oh. Ow. Ew. Ah. I think that's all of them. Uh, what's happening to us? I think we've got the plague. Do you have any other symptoms? My top lip feels a little silky. Next comes the appearance of hair on the body and face. <laughs> Dude, you look like an undercover cop. <laughs> Stop laughing! Do something! Okay. I see mom do this all the time. I don't doubt on one occasion. <laughs> that feels so much better. Don't worry, dude. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about you. You look like a baby werewolf. No, not me. It was better when it was just you. Uh, guys, I don't mean to interrupt, but this is the girls' toilet. Uh, yeah, sorry. We gotta sort this out. Start chewing. Okay, settle down. Everyone get into your team for dodgeball. Oh, no, not dodgeball. <laughs> You're going down. <clears throat> you get the idea. Please, not above the shoulder. Ah! This 
song, but I want to sleep some more. <laughs> okay, I'll turn it off then. Uh, but I really like that song. <laughs> oh, no problem. Listen to the song then. Uh, but I want to sleep some more. <laughs> Let's just have breakfast. <laughs> There's too much food in the fridge, and the milk is at the back. But the back is cold. Breakfast! <laughs> Okay, Dad made us breakfast. Uh -huh. Use the sausage for the eyebrows instead of the mouth so my breakfast face looks mildly alarmed instead of smiley. Okay, can we stop with the bad vibes, please? You're turning my milk sour. Uh, you don't understand my pain, so don't judge my life, okay? <laughs> Let's just watch some TV. Uh, the remote is too far from the couch. No problem! I'll get it. Gumbo looks sad today. What shall we do? I know. We should go and buy this poor privileged kid an incredible surprise present so we can have something new to gripe about. Okay. Really? Is everyone in this family immune to sarcasm? Uh, I love this game, but I don't have the patience to get into the story. <laughs> uh, I pressed my tongue too many. Now we have to go through that whole dialogue again. <laughs> Oh, you're setting the couch on fire. Oh, you're so annoying. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, let's get out of here. Run out of things to moan about. Oh, dude, your new sneakers are too bright. They're burning my retina. Dude, you're making me foot conscious. Come on, help me dirty them up. Dirtier. A little more. A little more. Oh, too dirty. Uh, uh. Thanks a lot. Now I'm naked. Oh, you're so moany. Just wear these. Oh, now I look like I bought my feet from a grocery store. Now I feel overdressed next to you. That was my favorite sweater. Oh! Hey guys, are you okay? You look really uh, waterproof. Oh, life is horrible, man. What's wrong? What is not wrong? I'm starving. I'm wearing rags. I'm. Shh. Say no more. I can see the pain in your eyes. These two. Gosh. They might need this as well. And this. Please take this. And these. And this. Oh! And this. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need that kidney. Maybe. Oh, I always knew you guys had problems, but I never realized how bad it was. Have you eaten today, son? No, I haven't, but it's because. Eat. Oh! I think there's a misunderstanding here. Pride is important, but sometimes you have to accept the health of others. <laughs> no, sir, you don't understand. Swallow your pride and eat! <gasps> okay, okay. He's so grateful he's got tears in his eyes. Here you go, kid. It's not much, but it'll help. People, please! Seriously, we're not poor! Of course you're not. You're richer than all of us. And here. That's not your heart, is it? Sorry, I'm a vegetable. I don't really know how you people work. Trust me, guys, we're fine. It's not like we're on the streets or anything. Although, technically, we kind of are, since Dad took the car and left. <gasps> I always knew he was a bad parent. His big, happy, fat, evil face, uh -huh. his sinister dimples, and those beady, doe eyes. So what do you think will make him happiest? A go-kart or a real pony? Why not buy the whole store? It only comes to a billion dollars. Oh, okay. Was that sarcasm again? Yes, so do you get it now? Yeah. Are you lying? Yeah. Would you like me to explain again? Yeah. In 25 yards, turn left. <laughs> Why do I have to go to school? So you can get a job. But why do I need a job? So you can earn money. Continue ahead. But why do I need money? To buy the stuff the TV makes us want. But why do I need to buy stuff? Because if you didn't buy stuff, everyone would be out of a job and no one would have any money. Wait, so I have to work for the rest of my life to pay for stuff that I don't want just so everyone else can suffer the same horrible fate as me? Exactly. You just live your life without thinking, don't you? I believe you are underestimating me, son. Turn right. <laughs> Destination. Come on, surely there's more to life than that. Mm, nope. I'm out of here. Enjoy your pathetic lives working nine to five. Hector, send me to freedom. That's it. Laugh at me.
me, but at least I'm not a mindless zombie going through life just doing what they tell me to. Who? You know, them. Who's them? You know, the man. What man? The man who tells you what to do. Who? My dad? No, uh, the people who tell you what to watch on TV and stuff. What's a TV? It's a... Hmm. You have reached your destination. <laughs> On the menu today, poulet à la deep fried, accompanied by the fries of the French. Mmm, delicious. What are the fries of the French? Are you a potato? As sure as the world is flat. Who's that bumpkin? This is Idaho, Gumball's friend from the country. He's going to be staying with us this weekend. Where's your chair? Gumball threw it away. We're getting rid of our possessions to lead a simpler, better life. Ah! What's going on here? It's Idaho. He's gonna show us the way. The way to what? The way to ultimate happiness. Is that a theme park? No, it's a free world with no electricity, no cars, no supermarkets, and especially no TV. He's not joking, Casey. <sighs> Isn't it better to simply communicate rather than being brainwashed by the TV? Dude, no one said a word for half an hour. Nicole, punish Gumball for being boring. I really want to, but I can't. Gumball is exploring his outlook on society, and it's our job as parents to encourage that, no matter how much we might think it's completely ridiculous! <laughs> So, what do you noble savages do to entertain your tribe? We play rough and tumble. What's that? Come on, I'll show you. Now, the rules is that there's no rules. You wrestle and you make your friend tumble. Wait, so you can, like, punch and stuff? Well, you can try. But I have to warn you, I've never been defeated in Elmore County. Come on. Him over a house? I was defending myself! Against what? You're like eight times the size! I panicked, okay? <laughs> Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> you know what we do when we need to cheer up? We sing songs! <clears throat> Aberdeen and the wheel in the field potato! Come on, all together now! Aberdeen! Aberdeen. <laughs> I'm beautiful. Wait, I'm more beautiful than I've ever been. Look at me, world! A dad on my eleganza! <laughs> it doesn't matter. We still love you. I don't care if you... It's the people who don't love me I need to impress. Wait a second. Dude, I've got it. You're just wilting. It's completely normal. Really? Yeah, and there's a very simple solution. What is it? Huh? Leave me alone! Dude, take it easy. It doesn't have to be an ordeal. Yeah, think about it like a nice, relaxing bit of gardening. Hello, and welcome to gardening time. Today's episode is about the seasonal decapitation of flowers, or as we gardeners call it, deadheading. You people are insane! Come on, you stupid... Hmm? It won't start unless it's in park. Oh, thanks. I'm not a monster! I just look like one! You see, Darwin, it is important to choose the right tools for the job. Why not a chainsaw? <laughs> Slow down there. We don't want to make a mess. What we need is a clean cut to the stem. Kid 
dazu. Oh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Make sure you don't waste the flower heads and add them to the compost heap. Very good point, Gumball. In time, their rotten remains will be eaten and excreted by worms. The resulting matter can be used to feed other plants. The police! I need to call the police! No network! Come on, come on! For a second. Since when is being scared of decapitation considered over dramatic? We're doing this for your own good, man. Think about your face. It will just continue rotting. Wait, so you're saying it's better to leave a hot memory than cold compost? I agree. Do it. <laughs> what? No, no, your head will regrow. Ah, all right then. <laughs> and that concludes our episode. And when will we see our pretty new flower grow come back? When spring comes back in about six months. This is the moment of truth, my friend. Final level, one life left. It is time for the combo breaker. Three, two, one. Co 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 combo breaker! I should probably get that. Leave it, dude, focus! If we lose here, we'll have to start the whole game again. And I can't go through that. But what if it's important? That, that's that's important! Oh, it'll just take a second. Darwin, no, don't do it, man. Darwin, please don't do this to me! Just a little second. I'm getting a quad in the pond! How do you spell low? J E R K. Texting is for phones. We use real words when we talk with our mouths. It's the phone! I was texting in the library and Mr. Small confiscated it! You have to get it back! I'm sorry, Darwin, but maybe it's for the best. Dude, what do you want me to do? I'm a coward. I'm not gonna break school rules. Alright. You're calling close to bracket! What's up? Talk. Uh, yeah. You know, I love you, man. Uh-huh. But I think you have a problem with that phone. Yeah. So I've arranged for your butt to be surgically grafted onto your face. Yeah. Yeah, sure, great. You're not even listening! Why don't you text me? Ah! 
that for dramatic effect. But you get the point! This has to stop! I'm sorry, but Darwin isn't available right now, or ever again. Please, get a life, stop texting, and never call again after the beep! Beep! You're right. Ocho and I are phone addicts. Please don't tell me that was Ocho I just spoke to. Who do you think was calling me all the time? Nah, not enough sugar. Oh! A donut! That could fill a hole. Just get rid of him. Okay. You want it? Yes, yes, yes. Really? Yes. You really, really want it? Yes. Then back. <laughs> He's gone, Mr. Charity Man. Great, good job. Now get back to looting. I mean, uh, collecting for charity. Yay! Now, let's get back to business. Ah! So, Mr. Employee of the Month, where is the safe? I won't tell you anything. They would fire me. Oh, really? What would they do about this? No, please. They'll take it off my salary. Whoops. You heartless monster. That was 25 cents. Now, where is the safe? I won't tell you. Whoops. No, that was 35 cents. Oops. Wait, that was 250 reduced from 395. Now, will you talk? Never. Your choice. No! Look, Darwin, shampoo. Perfect for bald people. Ooh, what's that? It's a safe, Darwin. It's full of money. And what do bald people need more of? Friends? Exactly. And how do you buy friends? Uh... With money. Yay! Oh, there's a lock. What number should I try? Um, two. Eh, it doesn't work. Seven. No. Nope. Well, that's all the numbers I know. Try two again. <sighs> I guess we'll have to use brute force. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Oh, th thanks. Where are the boys? Well, I forgot your birthday, so I sent them down to the gas station to get you a present. What? Oh, is it the birthday? Or sending two kids downtown at night on their own? Put your pants on and get in the car. Crack it. You know, you only have to ask nicely. Please? Whoa! I can't believe you sent the kids to the gas station at this hour. Come on, honey. What's the worst that can happen? Hey, three seconds! He's got a spoon! Ah! Ha! Suck it! Hey, Mr. Charity Man! We found money for the. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Why are you tied up? <laughs> oh, he's not really a good guy, is he? Oh, come on. You really are suckers. Now give me the money. No! Run, Darwin, run! Give me that bag right now! Give me the money! <laughs> oh, come on. You're not going to stop me with a marshmallow. Ow! That sausage was frozen! <laughs> 